Hey guys, how you doing? Real quick, do me a favor. Go below, hit that subscribe button and give me a like. Uh, my channel is still sort of new. We're going on maybe seven, eight months. Um, I really need to get the 1,000 subscribers. I post videos daily uh, to try to help people out, give a lot of tips on engines. So uh, just please hit that subscribe button below. Only take you two seconds and give me a like. Today I want to talk about uh, just uh, a tip you can do as a uh, equipment shop manager. Uh, when your uh, mowers are sitting around the shop or your machines, they tend to lose tire pressure a lot. Sometimes you'll come into the shop and you'll see that there's tires every couple of days that are really low and you're putting air in them. And once in a while you might not get to them all or the uh, operator will be out on the course cutting and they'll think it's a little low or in the morning and they'll just grab an airline and they'll start putting air in there and what they do is a lot of the times the operators they don't pay attention to the pressure and they'll just pump it up until they see that tire rock solid and say okay this is okay but what you don't understand is that is affecting the height of cut on your real mower if you have reels or a deck mower because you're gonna have one side of the mower if you put too much tire pressure in there you're gonna have it sitting like this or even in the back, you're gonna have a different angle. You wanna get all those tires at the same pressure. So the tip that I wanted to give was, you go ahead and make a sheet, take a moment out, go around to your whole fleet and write down the tire pressure on there and explain to the operators that it does affect the height of cut and you'll stop driving your superintendent crazy if he's wondering why these machines aren't cutting properly. Now there's other things that contribute to that also but right now we're talking about tires and we'll get to that so with the tires what you want to do is go around to your whole fleet look at the tires and write down the tire pressure get a nice sharpie marker so it's nice and bold and they can read it print that out laminate it and make a couple of copies hang one up in the shop because you're gonna need it as a quick reference when a tire come when a machine comes in and you're servicing it and you want to put air in it it, t it beats a lot of time of sitting there rubbing all the mud off of the tire and trying to look for the tire size, I mean for the, uh, the tire pressure. And also hang one up where your operators typically go in the morning for air. So if, the, if there's uh, a couple of different air units, then put one up on the wall by all the air units. When they grab that hose, they can look at the machine real fast and go, okay, I need 12 PSI in this tire. Typically in mowers, you're going to be between... I would say anywhere from 10 to 14 PSI depending on the machine you have. But a difference in two PSI can be a big difference in your height of cut. All right, so make yourself a sheet. Tell the operators, I'm hanging it here. If you pull your machine up here, look at the tire pressure and that's how much you put in there, all right? Another thing that can affect, I mean, there's a lot of things that can affect the real cut. I mean, the height of cut, I'm sorry. Um, but another thing too is your rollers. All right, so take for example, we have this machine here. All right, this is a Jacobson Greens King. All right, but your rollers, you know, if you have the time, walk around in your machines and see if you have any play in these rollers. If you have any play whatsoever in these rollers, um, mo mostly up and down play, all right? Your side to side, not so much, but you're up and down because if, when this reel hits the ground, and you got play in this bearing, this reel is going to come up even just a quarter inch. Well, guess what? Now you're scalping on this side. All right? <clears throat> so, and then you're going to be, uh, you know, wondering why is this machine scalping? I set the height of cup properly. It doesn't matter if you set the height of cup properly if you got a bad bearing because it's, you can set the height of cut and as soon as this reel touches the ground, that roller is going to come up and your height of cut is going to be off immediately. All right? Another thing is, too, your bed knives, all right? Now, I just started at a new garage, all right? So I don't know what the previous mechanic uh, had done to the reels. So I'm kind of blindsided here. So what you want to do is look at all your bed knives underneath. Let me turn the light on here and see if I can get under here. Now, these haven't been serviced yet this year. So they're really dirty <coughs> and rusty, all right? And that's another thing that can contribute too. If the reels aren't being cleaned properly, at the end of the day, a lot of stuff can sit on there and build up. Me, typically, when these are rinsed off, I actually like to air dry them because then you don't have the water sitting on there and collecting all this rust and stuff. All right, but if you have, and this I had this happen to me already here, 
I had a machine that had three different types of bed knives on there, and they were all different thicknesses. So, if you're not getting the height of cut you desire, it could be the bed knives. Maybe they're too thick. On greens mowers, typically you want to go with a thinner bed knife. Your rough mowers have the thicker bed knives. Um, but I did find a mower that had different, three different bed knives on it, which I have no idea why. But that can also affect your height of cut. Uh, your engine governor speed, uh, the angle of your bed knife, your reel-to-reel -reel contact. There's so many things that come into play. But today, really, we were talking about the tires, and I just wanted to point out a couple of other things. So um, just look over your machines and uh, make sure, you know, every morning your rollers are good cause that, uh, and uh, your tire pressure is good because those are the two main factors other than the bed knives that are really going to affect your, uh, your height of cut. And then, you know, there's other things like the hydraulics and stuff like that. You want to check your hydraulic lines. If you don't have the, the right amount of pressure coming to one reel either and the other reels are spinning faster than another reel, that's going to affect your quality of cut as well. Uh, but anyway, I hope this tip helps and please don't forget hit that subscribe button I hate sounding like a skipping record here, but I really need to get up over a thousand subscribers and check back daily for some more videos I'll see you guys